This is Thanksgiving numerology part two. I wanted to elaborate because I upset some people because of the fact that I was discussing the numeric resonance of the number 24 and how it describes agreements. They were bothered. I get it, okay? Anything associated with Native American past and pilgrim past is heavily whitewashed and heavily hidden. But that in no way changes the numeric resonance of the number 24 and how we cannot help but have an agreement-related occurrence placed on that date. We're talking about 1124. 11 is the number of interpersonal communication, interpersonal interaction, interpersonal mirroring, interpersonal, okay? And then you have 24, the number of vows, promises, agreements. It's numeric resonance. And the fact of the matter is this, I am a numerology expert and author. I am not a history scholar. I am not here to argue about what did or didn't happen. I'm here to help you understand frequencies, numeric energies in numerology. But I do love the Native Americans, okay? And I wanted to elaborate a little bit. I was able to see a post on TikTok talking about how the original Thanksgiving was celebrating the massacre of the Pequot tribe. This year, the year provided was 1637. Now, this is something I can talk about numbers. Numbers don't lie. I'm simply trying to teach you guys about what different numbers mean. I'm not here to argue about history. So let's dive into the meaning of 1637. Using Demetra's number system, anytime you have an even number of digits, which is this four digit sequence, we're going to assess the number two digits at a time, meaning let's start with 16 and then let's analyze 37. Then we total the entire sequence to have a further understanding or an additional resonance to assess. We talk about 16, we have a one pulling in a six. It totals seven, the number of opposition, difficulty, dark sides of karmic matters. When you're talking about someone navigating the realm of six regarding seven matters, so that typically means this is somebody burdened with secrets, difficulty, enemies, opposition. This is not an easy path. 37, the three, the number of manifestation paired again with another seven means this is someone manifesting opposition, those oppositional difficult energies, but it's intended to help them level up because it totals 10. Then the last thing you want to do is total the entire sequence. When we total this number, we get 17. 17 is the number of someone navigating the realm of seven regarding eight matters. So this is someone that is having to learn balance because eight is the number of balance. This is someone that is having to go through difficulty in order to attain achievement because of that seven leading to that eight. This is someone that is going to have to look inward and heal the things that are going on within, as within, so without. If you want to make for a more tranquil life, you have to first look inward. This is a number of difficulty, but this is a number, meaning the entire sequence, that also indicates growth, that also indicates spiritual elevation, that also indicates overcoming. This was not an easy year. This was a year of bloodshed. This was a year of lying, okay? This was a year of difficulty. This was a year of murder and massacre, like this number indicates, um, and the story indicates as well. And seven is also the number of death. So we could also essentially be looking at a number that indicates beings navigating the realm of death in order to attempt to acquire the balance they desire in life. I'm a numerology teacher. I'm not here to argue about morality. I'm not here to argue about the past. I am not a history scholar, like I said before. I'm not here to argue with anyone. Quite frankly, that's beneath me. What I'm here to do is try and teach you guys about the power of numbers, about what numbers can truly represent when you learn to decipher them, and what the universe and God could essentially communicate to you directly if you learn to speak this language. Stay tuned for Demetra's Number System, Numerology Perfected, the book coming next year. Happy Thanksgiving.